Welcome to TeacherTechBiz.com. This is a video tutorial site and idea hub that I created for teachers to help them use digital tools with their students. I'm going to take you on a quick little tour. This is the home page. In this white space will be this video once it's done. Uh, you can connect with me down here. There's my contact info. Over here you've got a blog that you can follow to get any updates to the site that I've created. And there's a like button for Facebook. You see I like it myself. And the main part are these tabs up here. I've, what I've done is I've sectioned the tools off into three main parts. Tools for newbies, tools for developing users, and for advanced users. I took these straight out of my book, Digital Tools for Teaching. Let me show you what they look like. Each section is, is sectioned off like this. You've got the tools here on the left that I've created videos for. Each tool page looks the same. Uh, you get the name of the tool, the goal, what it's used for a link that will take you directly to the tool to play with it, and the videos down here. Three videos. Getting started gets you into the accounts and how to get into the tool itself. The basics will kind of go through the tool and how to use the basics of the tool, and then some tips and tricks and beyond the basics. Now all these videos are free to download, MP4, WMV, or on your iPod. And the way you play them is they're right embedded here, but for best viewing I've got a little note here. You click on play, get it started, change it to HD, and then make it full screen. That'll make it nice and crisp for you. Now the main part that I want to get into in this site is I really want to get down to this bottom part. This is where I've, I've set up some forms so that you can tell us how you use these tools with your students. All you do is click on this button here, take you to a Google form where you can paint a picture of how you use this to your, with your students. Tell the age range, if you've got a Twitter ID, put it in there. Uh, again, paint a picture of how you use it, and if you get a link to anything that can give us an example of what you've done, make sure to put it in here. When you hit submit, it will automatically publish your idea to this list right here. Click on the list, and you can see I've got one idea already on Blogster from Deborah Sweeney. And she painted the picture right here, and not a link on this one, but that's fine. So once the ideas get in here, they'll automatically be published. Now what I hope is that we'll get a bunch of ideas so we can come here not only to get tutorial videos but also to get some ideas of how to use the tools. So that's how each section is set up. I'll just show you real quickly the last section which is more videos. This is a, a site that I a spot on the site where you can get some more resources. This is a really good one from Richard Byrne. EduTacker is a good site for video tutorials and this is a good site for video tutorials as well. And then these other sections have some of my favorite videos some other great video sites that are not tutorial videos, but just great videos for teachers. And then some miscellaneous stuff that I can throw on here that I don't have any other space for. So there's the site. I hope you uh, enjoy it. I hope you guys get some use out of it. And make sure to contribute some ideas as you go. Thanks very much.